Hello friends, welcome to my channel Electrical and Instrumentation Engineering. The contents in this channel is available in English, Hindi and Kannada. Please do support me by subscribing this channel. And in this video, I will explain you regarding the, this video consists of a general information regarding the power and control cable. In the left side of the image shows the power cable and the right side of the image shows the control cable. Let's understand the function of the power cable. The power cable transfers electrical energy from source to equipment. So here the source is switch gear. The switch gear source from switch gear power supply is available and from switch gear through power cable the power supply will be transferred to the motor, the induction motor. It is called a three phase induction motor or a single phase induction motor. So energy will transfer from switch gear available in switch gear and it will transfer to the motor through power cable and uh, operating range of the voltage, operating range of the power cable is a very wide and higher range. See, I have mentioned the operating range, two, it will operate on 230 volts, 440 volts, 1.1 kV, 3.3 kV, 6.6 kV and 11 kV. In all the operating uh, in all the operating voltage, the power cable is suitable for transferring of uh, voltage to understand the function of the control cable. So what is control cable? The control cables are used to feed the control supply to measure and control the electrical parameters. The operating voltage of the control cable is as follows. A 24 volt DC, 110 volt AC DC and 220 volt AC DC. It is a very smaller range the control cables are operated. So the, in the example number 1, the control supply is available at the source. It may be 24 volt DC or 110 volt DC or 220 volt DC. And it is transmitted through control cable to act the power cable and or auxiliary contactor. In the example number 2, the control supply is available at the uh, push button station. Here the green color push button station shows to uh, indicates the start the motor or switch gear elements and the red color push button shows the stop the uh, motor or uh, add the some switch gear elements and it will transmit the power sub control supply from push button station to switch gear or model conductor. The conductor is very important in the power cable and control cable. In the left side of the image I have shown you the power cable and the right side of the image I have shown you the control cable. Here the conductor means the I highlighted this area, this is a conductor in the power cable and in this area, this is a conductor in the control cable. First, I have mentioned you the three parameters, that is the parameter connected to the power cable and control cable. Here the material in the power cable uh, is used is uh, aluminium. Here we see I have highlighted this all these three, one, two and three. These are the aluminium uh, material used in the power cable and here in the co uh, control cable, the copper material is used. Uh, for the control, control cable. The conductor uh, used in the power cable or control cable to carry the current and voltage in we are going to discuss about the second parameter that is the number of wires. Here in the power cable I have mentioned you the number of wires is 28 numbers and the control cable is 7 numbers. So what is this? Let's understand. Here is the power, here is the power cable. Here the number of wires is 28 numbers. It is having a three, three cores, core number 1 and core number 2 and a core number 3. So it is having a three cores, each core having an aluminum conductor. In the aluminum conductor, you will see a separate stands. In this stand, there are total number of 28 number of stands available per core. Hence, it is mentioned as a 28 number of wires per core. So all the three uh, wires having, all the three cores having a 28 number of wires in each phase. That is called a number of wires per core. And in the now in the control cable. In the control cable, I have mentioned you the seven number of wires per core. This control cable consists of a sixteen number of sixteen cores. So the each core consists of a seven number of wires. If you see, if you count a single stand uh, stand numbers, so you will find a seven stands per core. So total we can call it as a seven number of cores per uh, per conductor. So hence. The control cable and power cable is uh, mentioned as a 28 number of wires in the power cable and section of the uh, cable. So here in the conductor, the nominal cross section area of the power cable is 150 square mm and in the control cable, the nominal cross section area is 1.5 square mm. So what is 150 square mm in the power cable and what is 1.5 square mm in the control cable? The nominal cross section area means here we having a three number of cores. In this three number of cores, this in this core, this core consists of 150 square mm. The cross section area of this core is a 150 square mm and this core is a 150 square mm 
and this core is a 150 square mm. All the three cores having a 150 square mm cross sectional area. This is called power cable cross sectional area. In a control cable, each is having a 16 number of core. In the individual core, individual core having a 1.5 square mm cross sectional area. So this is called a control 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 cable cross sectional area. Hence, it is defined as 150 square mm for power cable cross sectional area. One point. Now we will learn about the core and insulation. So what is core and what is insulation? In power cable, the colors mentioned in a R and Y and this B. This is these all are called the core. So there are three cores present in the power cable. And in the control cable, the gray color here what it shows this is called the core. So total number of cores in the control cable is 16 numbers. So 16 number of cores present in the control cable. So these are called the cores. And the material used in the course, what is the material used for the insulation? So insulation is present after the conductor. The material used for the insulation is XLP in the power cable and the material used in the control cable uh, for the insulation is PVC. So what is the full form of XLP? The XLP stands for cross-linked polyethylene and the PVC stands for polyvinyl chloride. So, this parameter is known as a material for the core and insulation and the power cable core is, uh, power cable insulation is XLP and the control cable are talking about the nominal thickness of the insulation. Of the, this is called a para, this is one of the parameter of power cable and control cable. So, what is the thickness, how to measure thickness, let us understand. In the power cable, the nominal thickness is provided is 1.8 mm. So, what is the thickness of this core, the thickness of the R and thickness of the Y and thickness of the B. So, thickness of this insulation is 1.8 mm in the power cable and the thickness of the insulation in the control cable it's a, a 0.8 mm as mentioned so this is the second parameter of the core and its identification now let's learn third parameter that is the core identification the power in the power cable the core identification is known as a red yellow and blue here the core is identified by the red red color and the core is identified by the yellow color and this core is identified by the blue color so this is how we, uh, we identify the cores in the power cable uh, and in the control cable the core is identified with the core numbers with the gray number here see the uh, core color in the control cable is a gray color and it is identified with the number one number two number three number four number five so total number of cores present in the uh, control cable is 16 number of cores and it is identified by the numbers which is present on the uh, top of the core last and fourth parameter that is the number of cores so number of cores present in the power cable and the number of cores present in the control cable so this is the power cable and this is the control cable so number of power uh, cores present in the power cable is mentioned as a three let's count this is the core number one this is the core number two and this is the core number three so here total three number of cores present in the power cable and in the control cable the number of cores present is 16 number so it is identified by the number see in the control cable it is mentioned as a 1 2 3 4 5 up to 16 numbers so total number of 16 number of cores present and it is identified with the core numbers on the present uh, printed on the core hence thereby the number of cores can be and uh, three number of cores in the power cable in this case and the number of cores is 16 number till now we have learnt about the conductor and the core and insulation and now we will learn about the inner sheath so what is inner sheath what is the purpose of inner sheath let us understand the purpose of inner sheath is to give the circular shape to the cable so the, to give the circular shape the inner sheath is designed and it also provide bedding to the armoring so this is the uh, this is the armoring and it, it 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 acts as a bedding to this armoring in protection wise the inner sheath is designed to not to allow any water particles entering into the core in case of outer sheath is punctured whenever there is a puncture in the outer sheath so it will not allow any water particles to enter in the core which contains the current and voltage hence the inner sheath is used and in the power material in the material wise the in the power cable the inner sheath material is the thermoplastic tape is used for the inner sheath material and in the control cable wise the material used in the control cable is extruded pvc compound these are the two types of material used for the power cable and control cable as a inner sheath now we understood now we understood that the purpose of the inner sheet and the material used in the inner sheet for both power cable and the control in the beginning of this video we have learned that the uh, size of the power cable is 150 square m and the size of the control cable core is 1.5 square m 
that we have seen in the beginning of this video. It, I am saying this because here it is very important that the material used is a thermoplastic tape for a power cable and the material used is a control cable, the extruded PVC compound for the control cable. So why thermoplastic tape is used for control power cable and the uh, extruded PVC is used for a control cable? The reason behind this is very important. See, I have mentioned here the multi-core cables of 16 square mm and above. So 16 square mm is 150 square mm is more than 16 square mm above are mostly wrapped with the thermoplastic tape over the core. As it is a 150 square mm cable, so hence it is a wrapped with a thermoplastic tape as this is a 1.5 square mm hence it is wrapped with a extruded pvc compound this is the reason behind the material used for the inner sheet tape for the 16 square mm abu cables as an inner sheet now let's understand extruded pvc compound for which cables it is being used here i have mentioned the power cable or control cable up to 10 square mm size are mostly wrapped with the extruded pvc compound here it is a 1.5 square mm cable hence it is wrapped with the extruded PVC compound. So, when the, this type of uh, um, this type of material is used for uh, and act as a water barrier between the coarse and outer sheath. Here, it is these are called the coarse and this is the uh, outer outer sheath. This is called the outer sheath. Whenever there is a puncture in the outer sheath, the water water particles may enter inside the core. So this will act as a water barrier, which will not allow water particles inside the core. Hence, the extruded PVC compound is used for a 10 square mm cable. Now let's talk about the second parameter of the inner sheath of the cable, that is thickness of the inner sheath. Here it is a inner sheath, and here it is a inner sheath. In the power cable. The thickness of the inner sheath is 0.5 mm. That means the thickness of this inner sheath is 0.5 mm in the power cable. And here in the control cable, thickness of the inner sheath is 0.30 mm. Here it is the thickness of the inner sheath. It is as a 0. Let's understand third parameter. That is a color. Here the color of the inner sheath in the power cable is a black. And the color of the inner sheath in the control cable is also black. That is why it is mentioned in the sheet as color of the power cable is black and color of the control cable. Understand the new function that is the armoring. Here in the material of the armoring is galvanized strip for the power cable. This is the armoring and the galvanized strip for the power, uh, power cable. And in this control cable, this is armoring. And here the material is used as a round wire uh, galvanized steel. Here both are galvanized steel only, but it is a, uh, called a strip because it is a flattened one. And it is called a wire. It looks like a wire. Hence, it is called a round wire galvanized steel. Now, let's understand what is the purpose of the armoring. The armor, first, the armoring is provided over the inner sheath and under the outer sheath. Here we see, observe, this is the inner sheath and armor is provided over the inner sheath. So this is the uh, armor. So and under the, and below this, the armor is provided and under the uh, outer sheath. Hence it is mentioned the armor is provided uh, over the inner sheath and under the outer sheath. Here also in the control cable also, the mechanism is same, the construction mechanism is same. And the purpose of the armor, armoring provides mechanical protection to the core. This armor provides mechanical protection means any external damage will not cause any problem to inside the course because the inside course carries current and voltage so any external damage to the cable the armor will protect the, the course uh, for this reason the armor is used and also in case of short circuit let's wait uh, now also in case of short circuit between the core and armor if any problem between the core and armor there is a short circuit between the core and armor in either case either in the power cable case or control cable case the arm armoring carries the earth return current the armor is connected to the gland and the armor is connected to the ground at, bo at another, another end so in case of fault the current will flow through armor to ground in the power cable uh, section or in the control cable section that's uh, this is the purpose of let's talk about the dimension that is dimension of the armor of the power cable and the control cable here the dimension of the armor in the power cable is mentioned as 4 mm into 0 0.8 mm for the power cable and in control cable the 1.60 mm for the control cable see let's understand what is 4 mm 0 0.8 and 1.6 in the power and control cable let's see in the power cable it is a strip armor is a strip hence the 4 mm is mentioned as a it is a width here the width this width is a 4 mm and 0 0.0 mm is the thickness of the armor 0 0.0 mm is the thickness of the armor in in the case of power cable in the case of control cable the 1.60 mm is mentioned which is a diameter of the wire this is the armor wire and the diameter of this wire is 1.60 mm a, hence it is mentioned as a 0 4 mm into 0 0.80 mm in case of power cable and 1.60 here i have highlighted this is the outer sheath of the cable this is the control cable outer sheath and this is the power cable outer sheath 
and now the material the material used for the outer sheath for the power cable is pvc type st2 and the control type is pvc compound st1 so what is the difference of st2 and st1 let's understand first let's understand the control cable with st1 this is the pvc means we are already understood that that's a polyvinyl chloride it's the full form and the st st uh, st1 means type st1 means whenever the cable works in a full load current and it will withstand the temperature up to 70 degrees celsius so at 70 degrees celsius the full load of the current takes then this outer sheath will withstand that is the pvc compound st1 in the case of st2 when the cable is running in the full load current and the temperature withstand capa capacity is up to 85 degrees celsius for st2 type cable so this is the difference between st1 and st2 type of the meter of the uh, cable is thickness of the outer sheath so thickness of the outer sheath for the power cable is 1.88 mm this is the thickness if you measure the uh, thickness of this power cable that comes 1.88 uh, mm and in the case of control cable if you measure the thickness of this outer um, outer sheet then the uh, thickness of this outer uh, outer sheet of the control cable is 1.4 the third parameter of the outer sheet is color the color of the outer sheet in the case of power cable is black and in the same in the control cable uh, case the color of the outer sheet is also black now let's understand the approximate overall diameter which means the approximate overall diameter of the outer sheet or it can be also called as a cable so cable diameter is in the case of power cable it is 44 mm and in the case of control cable our diameter is 23 mm so this is the total cable uh, diameter and this is uh, 44 mm in the case of power cable and in the case of the diameter in the case of control cable is 23 mm till now we have learned about the cable regarding physical parameters that is core uh, and its insulation conductor and uh, inner sheath and uh, armor and outer sheath these five uh, physical parameters we learnt in today case if you want uh, any another video for, uh, regarding electrical parameters please comment on the comment box section we will update you regarding the electrical parameters that is the maximum conductor dc resistance approximate conductor ac resistance reactance of the cable capacitance of the cable normal current rating also short circuit current rating duration for one second these are electrical parameters i will explain you try to explain you in better way in the next upcoming video if you want please comment on the comment box if you like and if you understand some few things about the cable physical parameters please like share and don't forget to subscribe my channel